Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make games completely independently with no uh, scripters, no you know UI designers, whatever you are. You could be a builder, you could be a UI designer, uh, you know anything that isn't to do with scripting. I'm going to show you how to make fully functional games without any scripting knowledge or requiring a scripter. Now, this isn't the most efficient way possible to do it, but essentially you think of an idea of a game, for example, a tycoon or a um, a simulator uh, or a shooter game, anything like that. Essentially, you download an uncopyloc game, you run through a bunch of uncopyloc games of the genre that you want, and realistically, in games like simulators, they're all the same thing, but just reskins. So what you could do is you could find an uncopyloc simulator game, it would have the fully buy and sell system, um, you know, how to gain points and all that kind of stuff. And essentially, you can just reskin that game, and it's your entire game then. Because all simulators, all tycoons are just the same thing, just reskins. That you may have like some original features every now and then, but it's not that common. Okay, so for example, if I wanted to make a simulator game, the first thing I'd do is I'd search uncopyloc simulator, and then you can scroll through these, maybe play them first before editing them uh, to see what they're like. So I'm going to go ahead and click for example this candy simulator game and then we're gonna go ahead and play it first to like see whether it's worth you know reskinning it and all that kind of stuff but realistically when you go into this you'd think what is a simulator you literally just walk around you pick things up for coins or you left click for coins you sell them and you hatch pets so if we go into this and it has those core systems done then you can literally just take this game um, reskin it completely there's a reason this game probably failed either it wasn't uh, funded cr properly or it just didn't work that well so you need to make sure you edit it enough for it to be a brand new game essentially using them same core features okay so i'm in this random uncopyloct game and right off the bat i had to mute, mute the music because it was annoying but obviously you have music so you can literally just change the idea and you have your own background music as you can see right off the bat we can see it has eggs you can hatch them it has different types of pets obviously if you were to reskin this you would change the pets make them yourself or you know there's tutorials out there even i have the tutorial on how to make these pets really easily um so yeah it has the pets you can left click to get coins you can pick up coins it has obviously your currencies on the left it has a twitter thing as you see, all the UI functions, you perhaps replace the UI with your own thing. Maybe just change the color of it, change the layouts. It has leaderboards. So as you can see, it has the core functions of a simulated game. So realistically, what separates this from like Bubblegum Simulator, for example, is the exact same thing, except it obviously has probably better visuals. And obviously you have your cell, which fully functions. And you have your portals, which require a specific amount of value so you can literally just change the name of these and you have a fully functional game you have leaderboards you have uh, the top three in each leaderboard which also regenerates by the looks of it so as you can see this is a fully functional simulator so the moment you reskin this is literally just any old simulator there's also nothing stopping you from downloading multiple and copy up games editing them and perhaps picking out features from each thing as long as they colorate without messing around any of the original scripts of your game, you should be fine. It's a very scuffed way of making a game, but it still functions either way. For simulators, it shouldn't matter too much because optimization is never really an issue since everything's low poly and usually pretty basic. This game also features a quest system, uh, which I don't know how it works, but obviously it has UI, it has um, a chat system, and you also have quests that just popped up as you can see. So yeah, there's, there's game passes by the looks of it, so you can literally just edit them, change the prices, all that kind of stuff to suit your needs. And realistically, if you're stuck on something, there's always just a five minute tutorial you can follow to fix something uh, really simple. Because simulators are very simple to make um, and you could easily follow tutorials to make them. We also clearly have uh, pets and an inventory here. You can delete, I don't know what that is, but you know, you can add currency here using uh, developer products and stuff like that so this is a f fully functional game so realistically you know you could just copy this game you can reskin it and it's an entire new simulator game 
obviously I don't mean to I'm not saying copy this game and just take it and just leave it as it is and publish the game because that's a bit of a scummy thing to do but obviously as long as you edit it this is uncopyloc for a reason you're allowed to take it yeah that's pretty much it for this video I hope this video helped you guys out and gave you a broader knowledge on how to in a way finesse the the platform um, to you know create games in a simple way obviously you're gonna have to edit these games don't don't do something scummy and just copy the game and just call it a day make it your own unique game but other than that that's been it from me i hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure to subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in the next one peace